Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm Sarah. This is Matt and Sarah's World. We are playing Dragoon. I hope that's how you say it. Um, I thought we would take a little break from Vampire. Came across this on Steam and it sounds really it sounds interesting. It's another point and clicks with a story to follow so let's yes I know I know haven't actually done anything in the game those my recording software wasn't working so I had to stop everything and go back so I'm not gonna be losing anything mr. game just work this time I do like the old cinematic effect that it's doing I really like that Day one. This is as far as we got last time. Let's do this. Splishy splashy. In a minute. Yeah, hey, splishy splashy. That's as much the as I know. <laughs> it's a fjord. You're not going swimming. Boo. You're such a wet blanket, teddy bear. You know I don't like it when you call Edward. me. Edward. Edward Charles Harden, Esquire. Will you promise to behave on land? Don't I always? Lissy, promise. Oh, piffle and phonus balonus, Teddy. You ought to know better than to ask. Yes, I'll behave. I'll be a proper young lady. I shan't run or climb things or laugh too loud or call anyone old bean. Aside from you. So, do you think we'll find your Betty in... Uh, what did you call this village? Gravik? Gravik. Gravik. Yes, I do. Why here? What's so special about Greywoke? Groovy. She never said. Apparently. But knowing my sister, something drew her here. But how can you know? I just do. In her letter, she wrote about... But that's months ago. She could have gone anywhere. Without writing or telegraphing her editor in New York, she wouldn't do that. Betty's... Ooh, the cat's pajamas, the bee's knees, little Miss Perfect. Alice, you're talking about my sister. Why are you talking in old style English when you're American? Sidarb. We all love her dearly. And Teddy Bear? I think it's old Edward. style English. We will find her. But he's fine. Why, we'll see her as soon as we get to shore. She'll shower you with kisses and berate you for coming all this way from Hanover, Massachusetts to the middle of Pazamuku, nowhere, Scandinavia way, just to chase Norway. her down. Everything will be Jake, old fruit. Is that it? Is that Groove Woke? It looks so peaceful and beautiful. I'm it's not so sure about her. Like a place built for ghosts. Finally. I don't think I could do this for much longer. Can't you row any faster? I'm getting frightfully bored. How about you take over, Alice? That sounds like a plan. <laughs> you slay me, Teddy, old bean. Oh, wow. Was that thunder? Still distant. The boat will be in safe harbor. Sounds when really when good. Arrives. So you say. But I say put your back into it. Because we're sitting ducks out here. Quack, quack. You're not funny. You think you are, but you're not. So quiet. Where is everyone? Probably working. Avoiding you. I know it's a foreign concept to you, but that's something normal people do. Hardy har har. The Fretland Farm is up the hill somewhere. Up where? Where's the farm? I believe it's that farmhouse, all the way at the top. Hot dog! Let's ankle! Hold on. Let me read the letter from Mrs. Fretland first. I'll meet you up there, old sport. I want to explore. Last one's a skunk's tail. Wait. The ground's muddy. It's easy to slip and fall. Walk slowly and watch no, out don't for- Don't be a wet blanket. A little mud never hurt anyone. Fine. Just 
stay close. As long as you keep up with me. Uh. Dear Mr. Harton, we would like to extend an invitation to visit our home. Trouble to hear of your sister's disappearance. No news to share. August fourth, nineteen twenty-three. Hope I got that right. Look forward to seeing you here in October. Yours faithfully, Anna Fretland. Well, I'm here. Where are you? Did you make it to Grovik, Betty? And why did you pick this forlorn hole under the mountains? Also sprach Zarathustra. What? Teddy, are you coming? I'm almost there. On my way. Righto. Step to it, teddy bear. Alice! I'm waiting for you at the farm! Oh, I can walk. Cool. Can I run? No, apparently not. Nicholas Bolton as Edward. Raining. Sky Bennett as Alice. Check. Oh, look at that. That's so pretty. Literally, can I not run? Maybe later. That waterfall is amazing. Oh, it's so beautiful. That's a big side. Come on, it's pretty. You're struggling there, mister. Meh. Ah. It's really warm here today, so I've got the window open and the curtain keeps billowing and it keeps making me making me wonder what it is. Where are you, Lissy? I'm up in the farm. Alice! I'm by the farmhouse. Where are you? Already said like that. How many times? You're a bit skittish, there, mate. A bit worried. So there she is. She's on the veranda. She's perfectly safe. What took you so long? I'm not seventeen. Nor are you seventeen. Put some spring into your step, old sport. Did you see the flag? It's at half-mast. Someone died. So this is it, huh? Nice digs. But seriously, where is everyone? Is it, Up in the uh, mountains, maybe. Herding goats? Are they goat herders? I took them more for fisher fish. Oh, rain's picking up. We should get indoors. You first, old bean. Hello? Anyone there? Mr. Fretland? Mrs. Fretland? Hello? This is Edward Charles Harden, the American. We've exchanged letters. Maybe they went on holiday and left the door open. Give it a shake and a rattle. We can't just barge into their home. It's not a crime if you're invited. It's kind of right. We're invited. I'm coming in. This is uh, this is Mr. Harden. Achievement unlocked. Hello? Knock knock. Is anyone home? This house is as empty as a bird's nest in December. 
Hey, you want to check out the upstairs? There's no light coming from upstairs and the house is clearly empty. No, Edward already feels uneasy about intruding on this host's privacy. Why? I'm a guest. Why would I start poking around every corner of the house? I don't know. Maybe they're playing hide and go seek. Well, I didn't want to go upstairs anyway. It's creepy. There must be a sitting room on this floor. <laughs> this is the kitchen. Hello? Anyone there? You go in the kitchen? Nope. Not allowed in. This one? Oh, this is nice. Charmingly rustic. The Boston Beaumont would pay a pretty penny for this setup. You can see the whole village from up here. Do you want to go sightseeing? Tomorrow. It's getting late, and the rain's not abating. Look! Family pictures. They must be the... Uh, what did you call them? What's on the tip of my tongue? The Fretlands. Right. Anna and... John? Johan. Johan. This is honestly not what I'd pictured. They're very presentable. Not at all like turnip farmers. They're not turnip farmers. That must be Johan Fretland. Master of the house. What makes you think he's the master of anything? It's 1923, Teddy old boy. Women can vote. Johan went and found himself a delectable bride. Alice, please. What can I say? She's a minx. Anna Fretland is a respectable woman. Her letter was courteous and professional. Didn't you say she was a city girl? It must have been awfully hard to adjust to life in the sticks. I can relate. Hanover isn't the sticks. Says you. I'm guessing their daughter is the master of this house. She's cute as a button. I can't wait to meet her. She's guaranteed to be more fun than you. Johan went and found himself a delectable bride. Alice, please. What can I say? She's a minx. He said that twice. Anna is a respectable woman. Her letter was courteous and professional. Didn't you say she was a city girl? It must have been awfully hard to adjust to life in the sticks. That's true, I pressed I something late. different. Hanover isn't the sticks. Says you. Those That's boys look proud as peacocks. What does it say there? Groovy? Grubin. The mine. Maybe that's where everyone is. Digging for precious jewels in the Stygian abyss. From what I learned of this place during the brief stay in Olesund, the iron mine shut down 20 years ago. The mine was only in operation until 1902. They must have lost a fortune. An iron mine wouldn't pay itself off in five years. Wow. Can we go spelunking? Perhaps we'll find trolls in the abyss, and we can steal their ill-gotten gold. If there was a cave-in. It'll be unsafe. Oh, boo. Frederick and Johann Fretland, founders of the Fretland Brothers Mining Company. They're the spitting image of each other. Twin brothers and business partners. Wow. Who's the boy? He looks related to the other two. Well, there's nothing else there. Johan Fretland exits Fretland Brothers Mining Company. So the brothers parted ways? Johan sold his share to focus on farming. Okay. That must have put a damper on their relationship. July? Tragic accident befalls the Fretland Brothers Mining Company. What happened? The mine collapsed, killing three workers, including Arna Fretland, Frederick and Johan's younger brother. That's awful. How old was he? Uh... Nineteen. That's no age. He might be the boy in the photograph. Operations were suspended after the accident. December 1902. Foreign investors out of Frederick Fretland's mining company. 
dire financial consequences for Fretland, who must have had a difficult time after his brother Johann Fretland pulled out earlier this year. Johann was smart to exit when he did. The timing is curious. Like he knew something was about to go awry. Maybe. That's a grim sight, old bean. He looks really worn and tired. Okay. I'm exhausted. And soaked to the bone. Let's get you to bed. We'll wait for the Fretlands. It's only courteous. Betty. Have you gone screwy again, Teddy? That's not Betty. That's... A scarf. I'd know it anywhere. It doesn't look like anything to me. It she just looks like... She bought it in like... Bloomingdale's the Christmas before last. When she came home that year, she showed it off. Dancing around the sitting room until I got dizzy watching her. I think you're misremembering. She couldn't make it home that year. Again. No. I'm... You're wrong. I'm sure she was there. Uh... Look. It is her scarf. It even smells like her perfume. Shalimar. But what if that's not... She's here. I'm finally going to find her. That's... That's great, Edward, really. I... I wouldn't want you to get your hopes up. I mean, where's everyone gone to? Something's not right, I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. Teddy? Edward, what's wrong? I... Lightheaded, okay. that's all. Hello? Having another spell. Dear. You know what happens when you exert yourself. Huh. Sit down. That's an order from your commander. Yes. Oh, oh, oh what? What did I do? I just need to, to catch my breath. Just for a moment. I want you to lie down. Lie down and close your eyes. It's been a strenuous day. What with the rowing and the dragging of the suitcase up the hill. Which you could have helped with any out. of. I promise. If they come home, I'll wake you. Now, lie down, close your eyes, breathe deeply. I'm just going to... Shh. Elizabeth? Is that you? I can't move. Oh, yeah, I can. Nope, I can't move. He's moving for me. Oh, I'm moving now. Betty? Lissy? Lissy, are you here? No, nope, I can't move. Lissy? Lissy? What's that? What's moving out there? Is it in the middle window? Lissy? There. I don't know, but that made me jump. Don't Elizabeth. do that, thunderstorm. Wait. Lissy, there's someone outside. 
It might be Betty. She's not there. This is not there. Are you here, Lissy? Who's out there? I don't know. Hello? I can't see. Betty? Lissy? Betty? Alice? Alice, where are you? That looks like a hoof print. That looks like a hoof print. Not a footprint, a hoof print. Hello? Don't do things like that to me. I thought this was a nice game and you're giving me spooks. God, I, can't. I can hear you! Oh, you can hear a crow. That's a crow you can hear, mister. See, it's a crow. Who goes there? Wait! A crow! I think you may be losing your marbles. Or maybe not. Someone there? That was definitely something. Sounds like a bell. It's a goat. Hello? It's a goat. You're chasing a goat. Betty, is that you? No, you're chasing a goat. Are you there, Betty? Ouch. Press the wrong button. They're not going to help in this. Elizabeth, are you there? I'm squinting to try and see, and I don't know why I'm doing that because it's not going to help me, is it? What about Is it the sure boat? you heard it correctly? It's gone. The boat? What? How? Maybe you didn't secure it properly. I pulled it up. I don't know. I thought I tied it securely, but... Where did you go? Out. For a walk. It stopped raining. Did you see Betty? Did I see... What are you talking about? I, I think... Betty? It was Betty. It I... was a goat! It was her. It must have been her. It was a goat. I saw her face in the window and... and she vanished into the dark towards the sea. You were chasing a goat. You really didn't see anyone. I haven't seen a single soul. Are you sure it was her and yes. not... I... I mean... I saw her face and it looked like her. Well, if it was her, why did she run away? She didn't. The goat did. I don't, I don't know. <sighs> it's getting dark. Back to the house. And tomorrow. And tomorrow's another day. Teddy bear. Can we figure it out? Right now, let's get you cleaned up. Look at you. You've got mud all over yourself. And then you really need to sleep. You must be exhausted. 
What about you? Come on. Why are you not sleeping? Surely you need to sleep as well, missus. Day two. Achievement unlocked. Blue skies in Norway. Okie dokie. Can I get up? Can I move? Yeah. I think. Am I moving? I will find you again. Hmm. Okay. It's a beautiful day. Uh, door. I lost the door. Thank you. just about given up on you ever waking up sleep well I dreamed of Betty she was in the garden and she called for me how about you Lissy dearest oh you know me old fruit wide awake at first light the Fretlands didn't come home did they they did not there's no sign of anyone aside from last night's mist walker I've been thinking about that I It was dark. Maybe I just saw a shadow. Maybe. Chasing a shadow. That's very unlike you, old boy. Usually you scurry off in the opposite direction. I didn't get a good look. I'm not even sure there was anyone there. Oh, there must be someone here. And I'm not talking about ghosts. Or goats. What was it you said yesterday? Maybe they're looking down on us from the mountaintops. I'll take a gander. The Fretlands will be home soon. Betty's here. I know it. I feel it. If you say so, Teddy Bear. Have you had your noodle juice yet? I'm not rummaging through their cupboards. You'll be a pill without your tea and toast, old bean. We need to get you sorted. I'm not hungry. First point on the agenda. Find the natives. A mission! Hot dog! I'll scout ahead. I'll meet you down by those houses. Okay. Let's uncover your secrets, Grovik. We has a map. So this is the journal, okay. That's his sister. That's the map. So we have a map. Very badly drawn map, but a map that's still the same. Which I suppose he's like drawing it on the fly so it wouldn't be oh I can sh I can jog now can I thank you fabulous I can run fabulous we, we we have the run button don't fall down the hill mr. Teddy that's much better I like when we can go fast. Up here, Teddy. Hey, eyes up here. It's such a beautiful day. What are you doing in a train? I sell this air in Boston. It's frankly medicinal. It's chilly. That's all you have to say. It's chilly. You're not cold. Why would I be? I thought you were scouting ahead. What do you think I'm doing? 
Vantage point. Like on a pirate ship. Okay. I can probably see our house in Hanover from here. I doubt that. Check those buildings. Knocking on doors isn't a scout's job, old bean. You're not doing very much, are you? Not that building then. Hello? Anyone here? Why, hello, Mr. American. Please come in for a cup of tea and biscuits. You're not helping. Also, She's really we not. drink coffee here, not tea. <gasps> Savages. Can we go in? Nope, we can just look. No one home. I don't know. Hello? Who's there? Hello? Anyone home? Uh, no! Was it the wind? Was it a ghost? The place is trying to spook us? Oh, where's the door? Did you see this door closing? It was just the wind, teddy bear. You're as skittish as a pussycat. There's one more house. Third time's the charm. Anyone home? Unless they're playing hide and go see. I keep clicking that and I don't mean I'd it. say that's a no. Clicking off somehow. Nope. Three strikes, you're out. I don't think anyone's been home for a while. Someone painted the word traitor on one of the doors. Still think everyone's up in the mountains herding goats? Only in a small part of the village thinks there are still some places to visit. I saw some sheds down by the water. There's the general store. Church. In other words, time for some sightseeing? Well, it's a bright and beautiful day. And we have nothing better to do. What on earth are you doing? Handstands, Teddy. My record is two minutes. I'm working on three. Just go on ahead. I'll catch up. You do that a lot. Just catch up whenever. Something not quite right about her. feeding the goats just out of curiosity who's feeding the goats
July 24th, memorial service. A commemoration of the accident at the mine this past summer. No services after that. All these graves. Oh, you're back. It's a cemetery. But look at the soil. These are recent. Uh, Why would they board up a church? To keep the ghosts from escaping? Lissy. What does that <clears throat> say? God is not here. Okay. Well, so much for that. No wedding, no baptism, no funeral. There must be people somewhere. Where are you going? For a constitutional. To breathe some of this salty sea air. <sighs> you go on ahead. I'll find you. Yeah, that kind of worries me. How do you keep finding him? Has he got a tracker on him or something? No, you don't know this place. You haven't been here before. And yet you can find him wherever he is. I don't trust that girl. Where do I need to go? Down by the boats. I've got a long way to go. Yeah, oh, I don't know, I just don't trust her. It's not a waterfall, it's a weir. Okay. When we came up here yesterday, I thought it was a waterfall, but it's actually a weir. Cool. Instead. And how would I survive? Hunt, harvest, forage. People have survived here for centuries. Why can't we? <sighs> Applesauce. Why lock any doors? I can't imagine they have a problem with punks and hoodlums. The sign says they're closed, but I thought maybe. Hmm. Hello? Are you open? Is anyone there? <clears throat> Ladder? Nope. Yeah, we're not going in through the roof though. Where's she gone? Oh, she's there. Fretland and Sun. How do you figure? It's on the sign above the entrance. <laughs> and on this photograph Frederick and Simon Fretland. I 
can't I get in there? Come on, it's open! Huh. Okay, I'm missing something, obviously. Telegraph is out of order. Well, there goes my plan. N O S O S. This was two years ago, but the notice is still up. How can it take two years to get something like that fixed? If they couldn't afford it, or couldn't get anyone to come fix it. Maybe. Well, this place really is off the map. Here be dragons. Or dragons, I guess. Mm. Ferry. The ferry route is no longer operating. Rats! Mrs. Fretland already informed me in her letter. I know. Still warrants a resounding rats. I wonder why it stopped running. Look around. How many people live here? 20? 30? That can't be enough for a ferry route. Things got quieter after the mine closed down. They need to move on and find something else to put their village on the map. Mm, a tobacco farming, maybe. They had a memorial service for the accident in the mine on July 24th in the village church. For something that happened 20 years ago? It still affected their lives. Uh, yeah, it did. Little peach over there. There was a dot round here a second ago. Ah. Oh, I see that. He's dry. Hmm. That's a nice little touch. I like that. I think you take time out to draw. Very beautiful. The barns, even. Okay. You can literally just sit there. I'm on top of the boat, okay. Just wondering if there's anything I need to do with the boat thing. Oh, you know. Oh, yeah, hang on. There we go. There's no damage to the rope. I don't know what that means. Nobody cut it. I guess the knot could have unraveled on its own. Didn't you say you used a sailor's knot? I'm a scholar, not a fisherman. So who took our boat? A ghost? Uh, tide current change in the night. Whatever's still about Edward knows it can be. Then explained. must be a logical explanation. It's safe to say no ghost in the night stole our boat. If you say so. But then who were you chasing after last night? A shadow? A goat! I don't know. It was probably all in my head. Betty would have taken plenty of constitutionals here. She loves the outdoors. 
How so? She's a city girl. I'm sure she gets tired of Manhattan. And when she was little, she loved playing in the garden back in Hanover, especially around the, the pond. Are you all right? I just miss her. Betty. Oh well. What's this? Remnants of the mining operation. What? Mine? Remember, I, I told you yesterday. There was a mine here, but it closed down 20 years ago. I know, Edward. I was just checking for a sense of humor. Still nowhere to be found. Termina Om. It's a memorial. Three men died when the mine collapsed in 1902. Georg Hattestad, Niels Frambo, Arna Fretland. See, this is what working a regular job. Did you say Fretland? The younger brother who was mentioned in the article. The newspaper said the accident forced the mine to shut down. What does any of this have to do with us? I still don't know why Elizabeth came here. And you think it has something to do with this mine? Or with what it did to the village? Maybe. He was just 19. How long had he been working in the mine? That's too young for a dirty job like digging into rock. We're in the real world, Lissy. Most teeners don't have the luxury to idle away their days with games and witty repartee. Ouch. Okay. I don't understand why they just leave this here. Like an altar to adversity. It's creepy. Rustic superstition. Perhaps they believed they'd attract bad luck if they moved it. Hmm. Maybe. What did they use this for? Bringing the ore down from the mine before it was loaded onto boats. So, diamonds? Gold? Or just boring old silver? Iron ore. Or what? Rock, which contains iron I know, that... I... <sighs> okay, Edward. Where do these tracks lead? the mine where else would they go i don't know a castle up in the mountains where the frost giants live and this is how they receive their monthly offering of meat from the villagers goat i hope saving cool Trespassing for traitors. Cool. Want to jump the gate and explore what's on the other side? It's not safe. Oh, horse feathers! You may be the most boring man in this country. Where's your sense of adventure, old sport? Don't you want to see where these tracks go? They lead to the old mine, and no. I've had enough adventure on this side of the fence. Besides, they wrote no trespassing for a reason. True. You're such a terrible bore, Teddy Bear. Hmm. I'll wager a thousand clams. You'll jump this gate at some point, if you believe Betty's on the other side. Frederick Fretland. Who are these traitors? What now? We look everywhere. There really doesn't seem to be anyone around. Where do we miss an important place? How about the dinner? We haven't been inside yet. It looked deserted, but... Worth another look, I guess. I tried to get inside, it wouldn't let me though. Hmm. 
Is that? Lizzie, come here. It's Betty's hat. Not gonna here. question the crowd. She could still be in there. Betty? Uh, Betty? Are you sure, Edward? I mean, it's just a hat. Is it even a hat? I'm not I know sure. my I... sister's hat, Lizzie. I have to get inside. What about the breaking and entering part? I could care less what they call it. Okay. We're not going to question why there was a crow attacking a window. Not in the slightest. Now we can get in. Okay, so you're one of them, are you? You, you, you follow There's a certain window. path. You seem eager to break the law. I approve. And you won't go outside of that path. It won't budge. No, don't be a milk toast. Well, it's stuck. Attaboy, Teddy. You can do this. Try again. I can't believe I'm actually breaking. Whoops, Daisy. Oh my, Teddy. <laughs> You're such a sap. Uh, helping him up might have been nice. Like I said, not so sure about you, love. world traveler, cat burglar. A cat burglar would, by definition, enter a building on a higher floor. The state of this place. Oh, Betty. Edward. I hope you weren't here when. Is this blood? Not necessarily human blood. Well, that's all right then. What does it say? Barn murder? Someone murdered a barn? Barn means child. And murder, that's... Child murder. Edward, they murdered a child? Someone thought so. Probably the same someone who vandalized the store. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about being in here. Don't be ridiculous. We're all alone. What else do you suggest we do? Yeah. Excuse me. Keep. I think I must keep going off the screen. Okay. Oh, now the front door's open. Same photograph as in the farm. Johan's but... gone. At least I assume he's the one who's been snip. Frederick clearly did not want anything to do with his twin brother. Oh dear. For keys. Your life of crime continues. The keys are all gone. Some thieving thieves beat you to it. Rascals. There's a note. Is it written in Viking runes? What does it say? I don't know. I need to read it first. It's from Simon. Yai put it means I put. Nurkel is key. I don't know what that word means. He put the key in the casa? Casa. I wish I had my dictionary. The note's addressed to his father. So the key was moved. But where to? Somewhere safer. Or more convenient. Can we really trust your translations? You only started studying a month ago. I spent the summer reading. And I had a lot of free time on the ocean voyage. Come oh, on, how much could you possibly pick up in a few months? You know my mind. It's a sponge. Nothing? Okay. 
Out of order. Why hasn't it been fixed? Perhaps there wasn't much demand for it anymore. S. O. S. These were never sent. How long have they been piling up? I received Mrs. Frontland's letter in June. A couple of months. Perhaps the world forgot about Grovic. Mm -hmm. Why would Frederick keep a list of what he calls traitors? What did they do to him? Cross him in some way. Why else keep a shit l uh, a list of undesirables? Hmm. Plot thickens. Hmm. Another but another circle. Casa. So that's what it means. Cash register. You're a genuine gangster now, old fruit. Don't worry. If you get busted, I'll come visit you in the big house. Wasn't there supposed to be a key? Here it is. Well, there's only one at the door. I haven't tried it yet, but... Hey! It is her hat. Teddy, I'm not Betty sure that's... Betty was here, but not long ago. Okay, but if that is her hat, what's it doing in a locked storeroom? Another breadcrumb. That's not an answer. I know for sure she was here. That's what matters. You know best, Edward. So, what now? If this is a breadcrumb, where's the next one? There must be a reason her hat's in this room. You think? What's that? A handwritten note. I'm not blind. What does it say, you silly goose? It's hard to read. I'm not sure my translation will be... Johan, you... Nectar. Refuse. You refuse to speak to me, so I write this letter instead. It's from Frederick Fretland to his brother. Uh, Simon did not... Bloody hell. Simon did not murder your Ruth. He was fond of his cousin. Ruth? Ruth is the daughter of Anna and Johan, which means... The little girl in the photograph at the farmhouse. Oh, Edward. The Fretland girl was murdered. This is simply awful. Simon was working at the farm while I tended to the store. I would have seen him had he passed on the way up to the cliffs. They thought Simon killed Ruth. His own cousin. Ruth was... What's that word? Playing. Ruth was always playing on the rocks below the church. She must have fallen by accident. The note ends there. Frederick never finished it. And Johann never read it. Not that it would have made a difference. Like if Johann thought... The mob showed up for Simon. His father would have tried to protect him. September 17th. You would have been here, Betty. Rocks below the church. Isn't the church right above us? Edward, come look at this. That's the cliff, right there. The one in the note? I bet you a million clams. Where? See for yourself. I guess that could be where. Let's check it out. Uh, no, Lissy, wait. No, I think she's gone again. She doesn't do wait in this one.
That way. I found it, Teddy. The cliff. I'm standing right below it. What are you doing? This doesn't concern us. A little girl died. We're staying in her home, for God's sake. Are you completely without heart? Get yourself up here, Edward Harden, right this minute. How? Which way? Lucy. Right here. Yeah, okay. How do I get round to her? Well, I can go that way. I seem I thought I got stuck for a minute there. Come on. It's an easy climb. This looks very dangerous. Oh, you're a big boy. Start acting like it. It's not Mount Everest. I don't know about this. Come on. Oh, there was a climb thingy. Where'd you go? There. <sighs> Whoops a daisy. How did she get up there so quick? What is this? Where little Ruth died. You're being morbid. And this is a distraction. I'm here for Betty, not because some girl Edward, got herself. You insensitive brute. You're like the tin woodman, no heart. Uh, please look at me when I'm talking to you. As I was saying, you know, you've grown cold and mean in that horrid study of yours. With only books and bugs to keep you company for years and years and years. There are other people in this world, you know. It's not all about you. You're going to do this. If not for Ruth, then for us. We're going to figure out what happened to the poor girl. Together. Hmm. Okay. That's been here a while. Didn't you say it happened over a month ago? You'd think her family would have replaced it with fresh flowers. Is that blood? The girl could have hit her head on that rock. There would have been plenty of blood. It's oh, awful. I think there's something behind it. Can you move the rock aside? Something struck this bush. She must have landed on it when... On her way down. That's ghastly, Edward. What are you? You're a doll. Headless doll. It must be Ruth's. Where's the head? Maybe the killer also decapitates dolls. Hold on. Pin. This is old. Very old. It looks like something from the from the Viking era. We are in the land of Vikings. This could be a thousand years old. It does not belong in a child's doll. Who cares? Ruth is dead and you're obsessing about a rusty old pin? Let's go further up. Maybe we'll find more clues. Come on, old sport. It's not far. Can you wait just one minute so that I can catch my breath? Huh. Did you follow the same path, Betty? Or am I just stumbling through darkness? I think you're stumbling through darkness. And you can see clear beyond the edge of the world. Right. It is awfully chilly. Uh, one oh, second. teddy bear. <laughs> we need to take you out walking more uh, often. So, the girl fell from up here. 
was pushed, you mean. Can you see where she fell? If she fell head first on that rock, she'd have died instantly. Edward, honestly. You wanted to learn more. This is you learning more. She hit her head and fell into the bush where I found her doll. Happy now, Alice? I'm not. What was she doing up here in the first place? Playing? She was a child. Children play in dangerous places. They do. There must be more to it. Let's find out where this path leads. No, absolutely not. <sighs> she already gone. Time for this nonsense. We're running out of daylight and Betty's still... You're still out there. Lissy, slow down. I can't keep up with you. Who knows what's up there? It's not worth the risk of falling and breaking something. Lissy? Teddy. My word. Uh, look away, Lissy. Is this what happened to the villagers? They killed themselves? It's one body. Let's not jump to conclusions. What about those fresh graves at the church? There were at least half a dozen of them. Did everyone just... die? They're not necessarily connected. Oh, come on. Ugh, oh, this is just ghastly. What made him do this? How long has he been... On the state of the body, perhaps a couple of weeks. Depends on temperature and humidity, of course. How can you be so matter-of-fact? body what does that say god forgive me don't suicides go to hell isn't that what your father said when Stop. your mother drowned don't. herself I'm sorry do you think this has something to do with Ruth maybe she came across the hanged man before she died and it scared her so she ran no. and this happened later there's some consolation in that i guess maybe it's the killer the guilt ate him up and he offed himself that's just speculation with no basis in fact hello little man do you think this has something to do with ruth maybe she came across the hang man before she died and it scared her i didn't want to listen so to that again this happened later. There's some consolation in that, I guess. He wanted the other Maybe bit. It's the killer. The guilt ate him up, and he offed himself. That's just speculation with no basis in fact. Who was he? One of the Fretlanders? It's not Johan or Frederick, and he's too old to be Simon. There's nothing more to do here. I'm going back. Let the poor soul rest in peace. Does it look like he's resting in peace? You're just going to leave him hanging? You're an insensitive brute. I'm here for Betty. This is... It's tragic, but really none of my concern. Oh, Betty, Betty, Betty. Always just Betty. You don't care about anyone else. What if that was me up there? Would you care then? All you do is obsess over a scarf. And, and a hat. And Excuse me? Ugh. It's all I have of Betty. Betty, there she is again. Edward, the hanged man, he's someone. No matter what he did or didn't do, he deserves respect. Would you please just do this one decent deed? If not for me, then for yourself. Or for... For your Betty. What are you doing? You can't just pull him down by his legs. Try loosening the noose. I can't reach that far. Why has he got to do everything? Uh, 
going to be sick. I can't do this. Yes. <coughs> Teddy. Edward. I know you can. You've been through much worse. I still don't understand why he has to do everything. Why well, she never seems to do anything. Where are the Fretlands, Edward? It's been two days. If they're not back tonight... They're not coming back. Perhaps they left after their daughter died. Was murdered, you mean? Isn't that what we think happened? Oh, fuck off. Perhaps she fell by accident. So you don't think it was murder? It's difficult to say with any certainty. The boy could have pushed her. You're really not helping. No, he's not. Can we talk about this tomorrow? I'm sorry. You're exhausted. I buried a corpse today, Alice. I know. I'm sorry. Why don't you sleep in the guest bedroom? The couch is fine. The Fretlands could still come home. All right. Just don't come crying to me if you wake up with a crick in your neck. Where's she sleeping? I'll be up for a while, if you feel like talking. But where are you sleeping? What did you find? Someone tried to burn this. It's addressed to Mrs. Fretland. My dearest Anna. It's from her sister, Margaret. I really shouldn't. Really? How else are we going to figure out what happened? Keep reading. Good point. My dearest Anna, I miss you so very, very much. The baby is due soon, and I wish for our family to reunite before... Da -da -da -da. It's been seven years since the dreadful incident at the mine. Can we not convince Frederick and Johan to forgive and forget? Uh, I know there are things Frederick has not told me about what they found and why they parted ways. Their grudge is tearing us all apart. Frederick won't even let me speak to half of our neighbors, accusing them of treason. He's so very angry and full of regrets. It's eating him up. And we... And we what? The rest is unreadable. Margaret reached out to her sister. But I guess it didn't work. This was written before Simon was born. But burned recently. Hmm. Actually allowed to look around now. Oh. I keep clicking off the screen. I'm sorry, folks. for that absolutely 100% not what are you doing Betty will want these back I don't think it's healthy not now to... please I'm exhausted Day, huh? I'm ready to pass out. Where 
will you sleep? Uh, I'll be up for a while. My mind's simply racing. Don't stay up late. Wake me if you hear the Fretlands arriving. Of course. And I'll keep my eyes open for any ghosts that might want to haunt you in your sleep. There are no... Hush now. Sleep. <laughs> Okay. She went unlocked home alone. Really? Hmm, okay. So we're about to start day three. Uh, I didn't think on that note I'm going to leave this one here for now. Um, thank you uh, very much for watching.